Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we are going to be talking about Hedera and HBAR. But before we fully jump on into this video, I just want to let you guys know that there will be a link down in the description below, as well as in the comments below, to this tweet here, where you could participate in an $8,000 trading campaign for Mexi. Uh, they reached out and wanted to launch this. It does start in roughly a few hours. Um, I think that by the time that this video does go fully live, this trading campaign would have already been live. Um, but I am also giving away 5,000 HBAR to 5 of you who are following me over on Twitter, as well as retweeting and liking this tweet here, and also tagging any three accounts so if you guys do want to participate in the trading campaign and also be a part of the giveaway you guys are more than uh, welcome to hit that link down in the description below as well as the in the comments below in the tagged comment and uh, go check this out if you guys wanted to now with all of that in mind today I do want to talk to you guys about Hedera because not only have we been going pretty crazy in price action but I also think that the overall community and I think that the overall general public is starting to realize Hedera and HBARS power and why do i believe this well a lot of it is statistic wise which we will get to here in a second um but i saw this tweet from hbar to the moon and i thought it was incredible so i relate to a lot of these tweets that i do include in my videos because i really do agree with a lot of the statements this is a statement that in my opinion really does speak volumes on what Hedera is doing for not only, you know, Hedera, uh, but also the entire space. And we do see World is finally starting to see the value of DLTs thanks to networks like Hedera. Not only Hedera provides a mutable record of transactions, but it also is scalable to billions of users, spends less energy than a single household, and reaches finality within seconds, and also is ABFT secure. And yeah, I think that the power behind Hedera is extremely remarkable. I think that as the DLTs do continue to be looked at and adopted in and considered for major adoption as well, um, I think it's going to be DLTs like Hedera that do get the runaround first because when we take a look at the power and the potential behind Hedera, it has been proven that it is incredibly, um, it's an incredible opportunity for enterprises to utilize this technology because of how efficient it actually is. Now, with this, I think a lot of people that have been around uh, the scene for a while, for all those H barbarians that have been holding Hedera for a while in your portfolio, you probably argued in the past on how early you are because, again, last major cycle back in 2020 and 2021, um, I think that we were extremely early. I think that right now, uh, going forward this year and possibly even 2024, um, I do believe that Hedera is going to perform very well simply because of what we already see being built out and fully live on the network meaning the enterprise-grade applications, the DeFi applications, and all that. But let's take a look real quick around some statistics. So first off, I do want to start with social engagement. Um, social engagement has been very good for Hedera because of the price action. Um, so we actually see over here from the Great Moonshot, be honest, H Barbarians, has the time come, is the sleeping giant waking up? The monthly statistics of HBAR are a sight to behold. We are seeing countless amazing projects being born on HBAR, and there are simply too many of us to list. You may go. Um, and when we take a look real quick at the statistics, we do see the, uh, the Galaxy score went up one. We went down about 33 in the alt rank, but the price went up 92.4%, which by the way, the price is at a significant resistance area. And if we could break out, we could target some high figures, possibly to like 20 cents. Um, and social mentions up 78%, social engagement 66%, almost 67 social dominance about 78 social contributors about 34 and shared links about 39%. So social engagement is great growing and it is of course because of what we are starting to see from Hedera's side not only from marketing not only from community engagement but also from the statistics that we are seeing growing from the nft sector the DeFi sector and also the transactional sector now as we look at a few things yes they, there has been a ton of marketing happening this is um a conference actually uh futurist conference this was uh held recently you guys did want to go check out Futurist Conference. You guys are more than welcome to. Um, here you guys have it. Um, and also, they do have a video down here as well. Shout out to Danny Eyde for posting this. But we do see we are fully open source and we are also fully EVM compatible. So you could bring your smart contracts and also your developer tools to our ecosystem as is and integrate with Hedera. Now, going forward, I think that Hedera is going to become a big leader in this market. And I also think that's going to uh, grasp a ton of the power that is already on 
Ethereum. I actually think that a lot of the Ethereum based projects are going to start to merge over to Hedera. We've already kind of started to see this. Some even will argue that Solana based projects are starting to move over as well. And I think it's because of the efficiencies. I think it's the overall, you know, power that Hedera does have over these other major networks out there. And, um, you know, it is extremely efficient. It's, it's far more efficient than a lot of these other networks like Ethereum and Solana. Um, but also, you know, I think that it's great that these conferences conferences are being held, sorry, um, because look at the numbers behind this. I mean, like, there were so many people at this conference. This is incredible to see. We do see the HBAR logo everywhere. Um, we see a lot of people very interested in what Hedera is doing. Here you guys have it. Um, and honestly, as we look at what Hedera is doing and when we look at the growth around Hedera, it's only a matter of time before we start to see a lot more players jumping in and really kind of grasping the power and the potential behind Hedera and also here we have a few highlights of some of the individuals that were there Daily Piper was also there um, and here you guys have a few other names as well and then on the last few slides here we have Toko being um, announced and talked about as well uh, which you gotta love Toko we've talked about Toko many many times on this channel again like these are real world applications that are incredible um, that will also disrupt many many aspects of daily life which I'm very excited about now, also, I did take a look at DeFi, and I, I've taken a look at some of the statistics around Hedera recently, and I even made a tweet about it, and I said, new TVL, total value locked, um, all-time high is being made on Hedera. 2023 will be the year for HBAR, DeFi exploding in value, NFTs have been going crazy, TPS demand is doing over 300 million transactions per week, and it's only a matter of time. And here you guys have the DeFi um, screenshot. And um, also, when we take a look at NFTs, yes, NFTs have been doing incredibly well. Um, when we actually take a look at NFTs, 130, almost 131 million uh, total volume in HBAR, um, roughly 1.4K average sale price, um, and also 90.5K items sold. And this is incredible to see. A lot of these projects are doing very well. I'm going to be starting to talk about a lot more projects very soon um, on my NFT channel. I know that I kind of took a break from it. It's just that I'm very busy right now in the middle of moving. That's why you probably recognize that my mic kind of sounds terrible. I'm utilizing my uh, laptop right now as I am traveling and I'm trying to get this move done as soon as possible. Uh, it's been taking some time, so I do apologize. But nonetheless, when we take a look real quick at uh, TVL, we're basically on the cusp of creating a new all-time high uh, for DeFi. The last time that we were at these levels was back here. Actually, we're at a new all-time high uh, for TVL, which uh, you love to see. And you can see the growth on this going all the way back to May. Um, you really love to see how you know fast this really started to ramp up. Um, and we start to see a little bit of a gain on most of these. So we actually seen a new... Um, decentralized exchange um, started, which was Pangolin. Um, I never even he heard of this one. I'm actually going to look into this after the video because I actually never heard of this decentralized exchange. But we actually see that this is about roughly $1.7 million worth. We do see Avalanche, Hedera, Flare, and even Songbird are included on this in terms of chains. So that's very uh, interesting. And this is actually an 8% or 18% gain, um, which, uh, yeah, that's very, very interesting to see. And then we also do see the other ones, which we are all aware of. Saucer Swap recently did incredible um, vo volume. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the statistics on Saucer Swap as well. And we actually have that over here. So $100 million. That's how much value has been transacted on Saucer Swap Labs in six months, equivalent to $1.4 billion HBAR, over 5% of the circulating supply. DeFi on Hedera is fast, fair, accessible, and just getting started. And yeah, we're starting to see a lot of volume within the decentralized and DeFi space, um, which I, or I shouldn't say decentralized, um, I mean decentralized exchanges and DeFi space, which again, decentralized exchanges are essentially part of that. Um, but we have been seeing a ton of growth within this area. Um, I personally love to see how much HBAR is already locked up in terms of TV which is almost at 2 billion H bar, uh, which is crazy to me. Um, but also, outside of what SaucerSwap is doing, there is a lot of partnerships being made with SaucerSwap through um, Hashport, like LCX. I recently talked about LCX and also SaucerSwap really kind of doing this uh, with H bar. This is going to be a yield farm where you could bridge LCX, stake it, and even earn rewards. Always please be sure that there's risk associated with bridging uh, contracts. 
We just recently seen an alliance block hack where uh, bridges really, were really kind of the culprit of that. But I still think that this is great for the DeFi space as it does help promote a ton of uh, not only volume in, but also value being transacted as well through this. And this is great for incentivizing, you know, retail individuals that want to uh, utilize these yield farms and really kind of earn yield. Now, also outside of this, I did also mention transactions. So transactions, like I said, uh, we we recently did like 600 million plus transactions in the month of January alone. Um, on the weekly, we are sitting at about roughly 340.5 million transactions in a one-week span. This is a gain of about 18%. On the one-month span, we are seeing a 5,298% gain. Uh, this is a 1 billion, 1 billion transaction flow in terms of volume. And this is going all the way back to uh, January 13th to now. So roughly, it's like, I would argue less than one month, and we already seen such an incredible gain on transactional volume being pushed. This is crazy to me. And on the one year span, so uh, going back a little bit in time, just really kind of looking at the transactional uh, value here. So we are seeing a little bit of a downward spiral on transactional volume in the one year span. But what's crazy about this is that most of, if not almost all of these transactions that we see here, like... We did 50% of the yearly transactional volume in one singular month alone. 790.2 million transactions in one singular month. That is absolutely madness. That's crazy to me. Now, with all of this in mind, we also seen that Hedera was one of the top 12 fastest growing smart chains in January. Here we have the number of um, at it. And uh, we see Hedera here. So this is crazy. It's like over 40,000. And then down here, number of code lines added as well. Um, there were, we're right on par with Ethereum, which is kind of crazy. We're, uh, we're above Chainlink. We're actually above Ethereum up here in terms of like number of lines added as well. Um, so this is something very, very interesting to say the least. Like there has been a lot of... Uh, a lot of growth, and it's apparent through a lot of these statistics that we are seeing. It's only, in my opinion, a matter of time. And talking about Chainlink, actually, we are starting to see a big move from Chainlink with Hedera. And Chainlink is one of those assets that I told you guys that I personally would always have in my portfolio, no matter what it is. I always hold a significant amount of link, and I lock it away on a ledger. But we do see Chainlink integration on Hedera will allow a plethora of enterprises to invest securely in building applications on the Hashgraph. This was a speech by Mance Harmon at S. 2021 link and hbar will be the future of bridging enterprises onto the hash graph in a secure manner and here you guys have building the trust layer of the internet first web3 uh, organization on the council integrating oracle solution into hedera token service um, enterprises on council building on hedera need oracle solution for their applications eg dla piper and partnering to bridge or uh, bring DeFi to the enterprise discussing for a DeFi ex um, accelerator or discussions for a DeFi accelerator and yeah, I think that this is incredible. And as we really kind of look at Chainlink, yeah, I do think that Chainlink is a big game changer for this entire space. Um, in my recent Chainlink video, I actually said that I am very, very supportive of what Chainlink is doing because they are empowering the world of Web3 to be really realized in the traditional world. So this is incredible as well. So as we go on in time and focus on the bigger picture here, Hedera is going to continue to grow and grow and grow. And it's only a matter of time before the general public catches on to what Hedera is doing. And with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to the notifications on because of more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As I hope that you all have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.